Alright, what's up everybody? Bali Trader back again. It's Thursday, so a little bit too late, but you know, got the music in the background, some rare, extra rare Jay Dilla, probably my favorite musician of all time, so we're going to get right into it, man. I'm feeling inspired, so I'm just going to stare at some charts. First off, it's Bitcoin. What's Bitcoin doing? You know, I don't really know. Last time we were talking, I said... 225, don't want to see it broken, and it broke it, um, but that's okay, because ultimately we're looking at this, uh, we're in like an optimal trade entry, so map that bad boy out right here, the 61% to the 79%, and uh, we see some good confluence there with a weekly bullish order block, um, that's cool, but the really scary thing about that is this 243 level we've been talking about, this huge weekly order block, we see one, two, three, four, five weeks. We just smashed up against it and we failed. So, you know, how big of a reaction are we going to get off this 243 level? Well, we already got the, from 244 to 218, so $26 reaction. That's over 10% move. If we were to take out this low, I would say Bitcoin is screwed. And, um, but, you know, I really don't, I don't know what other option Bitcoin has right now. I would, I mean, on the daily, it looks like we could reach up into some kind of, well, not this high. It looks like we could reach up to, like, the low 230s. Um, just because we are at a key level, at a key optimal trade entry, and uh, price isn't going down, it's consolidating. Kind of looks like it's trending up a little bit, so we could get a retracement at the very least to, to the low 230s. What we do from there, don't really know. We'd really like to see it get above that 243 level. I mean, if we look at the weekly chart, you can see how 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 significant it is for that 243 level, dude. If we could just get above 243 and hold, I would say buy anything above 243 on the on the dip, and that's really what I'm holding out for. And if we break, you know, if we break these lows then uh, it, I don't think it would end very well for Bitcoin, and we'd probably have a, a sizable downtrend on our hands. Um, but, you know, until then, we're just consolidating, really. You know, this double top here was kind of predictable, I guess. Move down into this consolidation, this weekly order block. Boom. Expect to see a reaction here. Um, after that, who knows? I'm not really too concerned about Bitcoin because I've fallen in love with the Euro. And uh, we're going to look at the Euro. Basically, the first thing I noticed about the Euro is that we've got this SMT divergence where we have a swing high in the Euro and a higher high. Then we have a swing high in the pound that is not met with a higher high. And uh, that's ICT's SMT divergence. It's a smart money tool. Basically, um... This is not making a high. Usually, the pound and the euro are highly correlated pairs, and they should be making highs with each other because they're both euro dollar, pound dollar. They're both versus the dollar, so they should both uh, be highly correlated. And when uh, there's a crack in correlation, um, when the euro is making higher highs but the dollar can't, it it kind of tips, uh, or it might give a clue that there's a huge block of selling orders here. Now, so this is how I kind of visualize it. I visualize it as like, there's just a huge interest in selling the pound, which is keeping it from following the euro. Likewise, we see, uh, we see the SMT divergence mirrored in the dollar, where the euro is making higher highs, but the dollar is not making lower lows from this point. And so I just see that as buying in the dollar. So there's buying that exists right here in the dollar, which is not letting it move below this low, whereas uh, the euro is running wild above this high. And um, that's just something to note. It's not really calling the top or anything, but it could be a clue going forward. Another clue on the euro is that we merged up here into this uh, daily order block. It's also a optimal trade entry, I suspect. 
Yeah, so look, I mean, look at the 70, 70, the, you know, the sweet spot with the bodies of the candles, just perfect right there. We did wick past it, but um, only to get into that order block. And, uh, uh, you know, one thing to be concerned about with the Euro is that we might be gunning for, all right, SMT is done, so let's get rid of that. We might be gunning for this level here. And um, the key thing about this level is that this is the down candle prior to a huge move up, which actually uh, this move up took out some stops right here. So there's a lot of liquidity up here in the form of buying orders. So these are sellers that want to protect their winning position. So if, if they sold anywhere up here, they would be buying here to uh, protect themselves from the market running away from them. There's also breakout traders here that are looking to buy strength. And this is a classic uh, stop raid, classic Judas swing, as ICT would say. And um, the the significant thing about that is that smart money is going to be buying here on this down candle, so that they can drive price up and take all this liquidity, you know, to make everyone a buyer in the market, so they can sell to them here, which is what they did. Um, now. Now that we're down, this is an area of uh, interest in buying. And um, also, this is an area of, of interest of buying, right? So we have kind of confluence here that there's, there's two blocks in the same area. So this is kind of like an area where smart money is interested in buying. You see this down candle, then we see a huge rally up, and then we see a retracement, and then we see a huge rally up. So someone with a lot of money is buying in these two blocks so we have to be wary that possibly we might uh, we might get uh, a little reaction off this level um, there is a lot of liquidity here and price is probably going to dip down into this order block I would say at the uh, 109.80 level, which I think is a pretty good level. Turn that down. This is a classic song. But, uh, yeah, 109.80. So just below the 1.1 1 .1 big figure, I think, you know, it'd be a good level to reach for. Fill in this illiquidity and, you know, dip into this order block if we were to remain bullish. The next stop, if we were to break out that, would be to take out these lows. And if we were to take out these lows, we'd be looking around here. And I think that would be it for for the downside objectives. So I think we're going to be watching this area. Could possibly reach up. I mean, it could even reach up here. It could reach up deeper into this order block. Maybe run some st stops here and here. But, um,. I mean, ultimately, I think for the week, I think this is about as good as it gets for the week. And there's very little left to do for the week. Uh, just, you know, looking next week at the Euro, seeing what happens. If we kind of look like for a week around here, we're probably going to be reaching for the 10980 level. And if this order block doesn't hold, then we're going to sweep these stops. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. And if this order block does hold, then we would just be retracing probably into this range from this high to this low. So we would just be retracing back up into here. Um, that's all I really got for this week. Um, we could look at the dollar. I haven't really thought about the dollar. Oh. Well, this is last week what we were thinking about. This is the daily order block. This is the weekly order block. And, uh, you know, I think last video while I was right here, I said, yeah, we still got some room to go up. Boom. We just kept poking and poking and showing weakness and wicking at these uh, this weekly order block and this daily order block. Then we just uh, crapped the bed. Um, yeah. Let's see what, what's happening on this order block. We already did violate it. Um, so are we going to go back up?
No. Another level to look at is this order block right here. Where there's a lot of selling here. Selling to drive price down here to run these stops to assume all the sells, you know, the, the longs here, placing sell orders to protect their longs, and the breakout traders trading weakness would sell here. And uh, smart money's having none of that. They're going to buy it up here. And uh, you see when price when price gets to this level again, uh, well, this is, I think ICT would call this, a, uh, it's like a mitigation block or a breaker block, but like they need to mitigate their losses, right? So if they sold here, to assume longs, once price gets down to here, they want to uh, mitigate their losses. They want to get out of the trade. Uh, you know, it's just like the cost of doing business. They're going to sell it down here, but uh, ultimately they want to take it higher. But in order to get all this liquidity here, they first have to sell it down. And so the first opportunity they, they get to uh, to get rid of these shorts, they're going to do that. And you see, price doesn't spend much time there, and Really, I mean, this is a hammer. So, like, at one point, this was like a bold face, bearish candle. And uh, what happened is we opened here, we were down, and then we just, I mean, there's a heavy reaction here, and we ended up as a green candle with a long wick. Just enough to take out these stops. But I, I would say we reacted at this level. And now we're sitting on top of a daily order block. Um, and we could be looking to, I think these highs look very susceptible to getting raided. Um, which would take us higher into these order blocks. And you know, just take out these stops, boom. Take us into this big order block, I think this is a monthly level. Uh, 89.40, seems cool to me, 89.50. And um, I think that's what I'm thinking. And we also could just break down and fill in this level. But, you know, I don't think that's going to happen. I think the euro's gone a little too crazy. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's my video. And um, see y'all next week.